So today we're doing the out of position rebuild. Pretty self-explanatory, but we're gonna take every player and we're not gonna let them play in a primary. We're not gonna let them play in a secondary. They have to be completely out of position. For pitchers, it's a little bit difficult because you can't really edit them to become position players. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take starters, throw them in the bullpen and bullpen arms and we're gonna throw them in the starting rotation. That's really all you can do with pitchers. So everything else, everyone's gonna be out of position. And it's going to be a pretty good challenge. I saw a comment from Zach Pierce who kind of came up with the idea. So that's why I went with this for today's video. And if you missed yesterday's video, it was actually a couple days ago. But we did an old MLB The Show scouting report on Mike Trout. And it was a doozy. Man, did they get it wrong. But if you guys want to check it out, it'll be in the top right hand corner. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon to be notified whenever a video does go live. And if you want to see yourself highlighted in a video like Zach was today, leave a comment down below. And if I like your idea, I'll pick it for a future video. All social media links are down in the description below. And that's about it, guys. Let's hop into this and see how we can do with the out of position rebuild. So the roster that I'm going to be using is on screen now. It's the most recent roster from the username Raiden Rosters. Um, I think it's like the end of the season update or something. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the most recent one if you search that username in the roster vault. So I decided to go with the Blue Jays because they do have some young, exciting players like Bichette, Biggio, Guerrero, and Guriel. All right, so we're not going to make any trades the first season just because I'm really interested to see how this team plays out of position by itself so you guys can see the lineup here nothing changes position wise i think a couple players rotate in and out but you guys can see everybody's out of position no one's in a secondary position i double checked so players like lordis guriel really all i could do was send him to the catcher spot um because he's a pretty versatile player but you guys can see really everybody's in the wrong position even the pitching rotation you guys can see everyone's out of position so this is going to be interesting to see how it plays out we got bullpen arms in the rotation obviously i can't put all bullpen arms in a starting rotation so we do still have some players um in the wrong spots but we'll just we'll just completely mix it up see how things go i really don't think this is going to go well um and we don't really have any good prospects to look forward to coming up so i, I don't really rely on that I'm just going to have to make some trades come the second and third season. So let's see how it goes. Um, I'll definitely look to get rid of some of these bigger contracts in the offseason. So for right now, I think we're good. Let's see how season one plays out. As expected, season, not too good. So we went 56 and 106. And uh, I'm just kind of interested to see how the stats played out. We got an award. We had two gold gloves. No, they didn't. Oh, okay. All right, cool. So Lord is Guriel won a gold glove at catcher. Are you kidding me? And then he won a gold glove too, but he didn't, he didn't get in the lineup. How did he win a gold glove? I would say, no, they didn't because I thought they, they changed the position. So where did he win a gold glove at? But he played catcher the whole season and he didn't. What? So was the CPU just like swapping him out every game? Because he's not in the lineup for... Anyway, whatever. We're, we're getting caught up on things we're not supposed to be doing. So, um, obviously, offensively, things are going to go well. Um, Pitching-wise, not great. <laughs> not great at all. This is probably where they stayed most consistent with nobody leaving the spot. Clayton Richard, okay. I'll respect that. Buddy Boschers, not too bad. Ryan Brucky, you know, could do a little bit better. But it, it's looking like the CPU is still just moving them into the right position, which is a little disappointing. Because if I want a guy to play catcher and he's never played catcher before, I should be allowed to do that. So let's just keep moving forward, get into the offseason. Two players retired from our squad. Really didn't expect them to stick around for the long term. Justin Smoke, normally good. But I, I wanna I wanna adventure into different areas for this team. So um, let's just keep going. Arbitration wise, Ken Giles, you know you're gonna want a lot of money. You're on arbitration though, so I guess we could offer everybody arbitration contracts. We'll we'll probably bring back everybody. This is where I wanna 
want to focus on because I don't really want to spend big on starting pitchers because we don't really need them, right? We're more looking at this spot. So I'm kind of looking at long relievers for the starters. And then I guess just versatile players that have really good fielding, but also a really good bat. Or I just go for full out offense. Do I just go, let's get the best hitters possible because we're, we're going to need to outscore our opponents. And I think that's probably the best option. So like Nicholas Castellanos is a good bet. Maybe a Josh Donaldson. So I'm gonna have to make some signings for sure. So to start season two, I decided to make a trade for Caleb Ferguson. I'm thinking maybe as a starter. Um, I feel like Walk Michael Walker is kind of a, a cheat because he really is a starter slash bullpen arm. So I feel like that's kind of cheating. So we're gonna go for Caleb Ferguson for uh, one of our starters. All right, we're gonna go for Brad Peacock now of the Nationals. As again, another starter. We're gonna get rid of Brock Stewart and Patrick Cantwell. All right, Jordan Groshans for Trey Mancini. At this point, I'm thinking we're gonna have to score more runs than the opponent. Obviously, that's how baseball works, but I think pitching is kind of a wash. I definitely think we're just gonna have to outscore by a lot. We're just gonna have to go for the offense. All right, Ronnie Brito, Nate Pearson, and Randall Gritchick for Eugenio Suarez. And I think that might be the last trade for season two. So I'm gonna get the lineup and stuff sorted. I'll see you guys in a sec. I guess I should tell you what we did in the off season. That, that might help too, because we did a couple moves, nothing too crazy. Uh, Austin Gomber, looks like he could be a long reliever because he's got low stamina, but is a starter. Uh, Ross Stripling, I thought, okay, maybe a good little relief or a starter for us. Nicholas Castellanos was a new addition as well, and that's really about it. So let me get this lineup in rotation sit, uh, situated, and then we should be good. Alrighty, season two, this is what we're looking like. Again, not terrible, not great, but um, improvements, improvements. Uh -huh. As you can see, most players are not where they're supposed to be. There's a couple of relievers, obviously, but there's nothing we can really do about that. And then for our lineup, we got Castellanos, who's new, Suarez, Mancini. Um, I definitely want to try to get some of these bigger bats higher in the lineup. Uh, let me make sure I do that. Oh, uh, yeah, we're pretty good. It's it's rough. It's really rough. I Like I said, we're just going to have to go for the method of we really need to outscore our opponents. We can't rely on our pitching. So that's what I was really trying to target. I think I knew a new catcher is needed. Our boy Danny just doesn't have those hitting stats. Um, I guess we could just throw in someone that's a little bit better, like Teoscar Hernandez. And then I guess it really doesn't matter who we have realistically. I mean, um, yeah, I guess we could just try to find it new, new bats come season three. So we're going to go with this for the year, see how season two plays out. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. All right. We might be onto something here. Maybe we just need to stack the offense. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Obviously we still didn't make the playoffs 75 and 87. I still have a feeling the pitching is our big issue. Let's take a look at awards again. We got a rookie of the year and a gold glove for Suarez. Okay, so I mean, let's take a look because we're 25 games out in the East. We're the 15th ranked team, which isn't terrible. And we take a look at the wild card. We were 12 games out. So, you know, not terrible. Looking at our starting rotation, stripling wasn't terrible. Everybody else kind of was. Um, buddy boshers okay so i'm thinking maybe we get like one or two like decent relievers like a middle reliever um because it's looking like that's probably what we need um and then just find players like stripling that are like relievers but have good stamina i mean i have a couple in mind i just don't know if it's they're actually relievers so like robbie erlin matt strom um michael walker i still think is kind of cheating because he really is a, he's a starting pitcher so when we take a look at our bench pretty terrible arelvis martinez was the rookie of the year which i mean he didn't have a terrible year but still not great Bo bichette oh man what huh okay uh goriel did great vlad only eight home runs he only played 64 games Oh boy. All right. So Guriel played a lot. Vlad only played 64 games. Eugenio Suarez played 153. Trey Mancini played 160. Castellanos. All right. So as I was recording this video, as I was simming through one of the seasons, I tweeted out and I said, I wonder if the AI will change your lineup, even if you have everything set to manual. As you guys can see, Everything is manual for this, for this. Like, I don't, 
whenever I do a rebuild, the only time I let the CPU handle anything is for career sims or if I'm like, hey, let's have the CPU control it. Like I will sp specifically tell you guys when it is manual and when it is like CPI CPU or AI controlled. As you can see, everything is manually controlled. There is no reason why my lineup should be changed by the computer just because the CPU thinks it's something better. What if I want it this way? This is a thing that shouldn't be happening franchise. If I put the team like this, this is how I want the team. I don't want any changes. I don't have injuries on, so there's no injuries to worry about. It's just a flaw in franchise that is so basic. The CPU should not intervene unless like 100% necessary. There should be no roster moves, no lineup moves, no pitching rotation moves. That's just an issue with the game that should be fixed. I don't understand why that isn't an issue that isn't fixed. So season two is over. Enough of my rant. Let's hop into season three. Let's make some changes. All right. Off season time. I'm still super annoyed, but we're going to we're going to track through this video. We're just going to end. We're just going to get through it. Um, I'm not going to sign Ken Giles because there's no point in having him pay like us to pay that kind of money for a closer that we're not using as a closer um, arbitration wise. Yeah, I feel like everybody should get it. Uh, maybe not Zach Godley contracts. Um, we're going to get everybody one. This was actually a guy I signed last year in free agency. And I forgot to mention that a potential closer. His stats are actually pretty good. I might use him as a trade piece, though, just because he's probably better suited as a trade piece. So contracts wise, probably going to give everybody contracts. Luciano might be one of those players that we use this year. And going off that offensive, like we need offense as much as possible. Maybe a Mookie Betts is an option, a David Peralta, um, DJ LeMayhew. How's Jerks and Profar? Not great. Or a Dietrich, Jack Peterson. Huh. Huh. The thing is, like, is the CPU going to let me play the players that I want them, like, that I want to play? That's, that's just another issue that just, oh, man. Anyways. Ooh, Robbie Erland is a reliever. Okay. Randall Delgado. Okay, we got some options. I'll see you guys at the start of season three. All right, start of season three. I got to go for Michael Walker. He's had two incredible seasons. And he's a relief pitcher technically uh, in this roster. So we got to pick him up. We're going to trade Zane Gill, Patrick Murphy, and Justin Schaefer. So with that move... I think we might be set because we made some huge acquisitions in free agency. Um, Mookie Betts, David Peralta, Robbie Erlin, and I think that's it. So yeah, we made we went with the offensive route, and uh, I got to move the lineup around a little bit. Um, and what I was thinking is, you guys saw that Vlad was in third base for one lineup, so I guess I missed that part. So maybe those were the 64 games that he played at third, and that. Like that lineup was the lineup that was like, that was like for that game. So those were the 64 games. And then the rest of the games, because he was out of lineup, they changed or out of position. They changed his, changed him out of the lineup. But um, this is the team we're going to go with. I'm thinking maybe we get another bat or just use Derek Fisher and then just move all these guys around. So I'm going to move everybody around the pitching rotation. I do need to bring in Michael Waka here, probably for Zach Godley and then just send Godly down. I'll show you the lineup again. I know I went through it pretty quickly. Um, so we'll just do that. And then, not that. So we'll kind of look like this. And it doesn't look terrible. Like this is like the best we've had. Um, so everyone is a reliever here. Starter, starter, he's a reliever. And then he's a reliever. So I guess we could do like, I guess it really doesn't matter, I, you know. It really doesn't. So we'll just kind of go like that. And then that'll be our bullpen and stuff. It doesn't look terrible, actually. It looks pretty decent. And then obviously, offensively, we're going to have a really stacked lineup. So I'm going to move everybody out of position. And then I'll see you guys at the end of the season, see how things went. I could see us actually making a postseason with this team. All right, so Kevin Biggio wasn't re-signed, which is an issue because we need Kevin Biggio. So what we're going to do is we're going to trade, open up some space. We're going to dump somebody off to the Yankees. And we're going to sign Kevin Biggio because apparently we didn't have him in the squad. So now we got him and we should be good now. So now I got to get him into the lineup somehow. As you can see, I've definitely thrown some things around. I don't think he can play first. He can play first. Um, He can't play short. 
let's just do that for now but you guys can see i'm gonna throw Kevin biggio into the lineup because for some reason he wasn't on the team all right so unfortunately we couldn't make the postseason which is a little bit of a bummer 82 and 80 and um if you look at how we started the season we actually started really well um i think we were like 20 and 11 at one point things were looking really good and i was like ooh, maybe maybe this is the season that like we'll actually make the postseason and then it just kind of kind of fell apart like august was not good not good at all september wasn't great either so for the most part you know we had a couple bad months that really hurt us so looking at awards i'm assuming another gold glove lord is guriel just is a stud apparently so fourth ranked in the league and I'm just assuming that the pitching out of position thing is really hurting us. You know, Michael Walker, Erland wasn't bad. Ferguson was, you know, not terrible. I mean, overall, when you're thinking of pitchers who most likely should be in the bullpen, it's not a terrible thing. And then our bullpen probably wasn't ama amazing either. It wasn't horrible. I mean, Sean Reed Foley, holy cow. 43 saves with a 2.76 ERA. Not terrible. So let's take a look at the lineup. Um, it did it again. Oh, that's probably why we had such a bad season. Oh, man. That's annoying. Like, it says he played 161 games, but he only had 280 at-bats. And it, it happened all year. Like, Lourdes Gurriel, I had him at catcher, and he played every single game and, like, played a lot. Um, Vlad only played in 50 games. Uh, we got Trey Mancini, only played in 96. Jose, or David Peralta, he played in a lot. Okay, so like he was one of the players that played quite a bit. 136 for Eugenia, which is, you know, like a normal amount of year, uh, games for a season. He had a pretty decent year. Bo Bichette played almost every game, which is good. Kevin Biggio, better, but like, come on. Like those are those are some of our big players. Mookie Betts, Vlad, Trey Mancini, we got Nicholas Castellanos, all have huge bats, capable of producing so many runs, and because they're out of position, they're not gonna play them. That's that's so annoying. And it sucks because that probably would have been enough runs, enough run production, a good enough lineup to get us into the postseason. Because when you look at it, we missed the wild card by 11 games. Like, I get that. We were out in the division by 12 games. But think about that. 12 games in the division, that's not a lot. You know, especially when it's, you know, still under 100 games. It was 94 games to win the division. We could have made the postseason. But we just didn't have our best lineup put forward because the CPU took us out of that situation. It just, they kind of screwed us, which sucks. But that's how today's video is going to end, guys. Unfortunately, it didn't end on a high. And it actually kind of ended on a low because... The CPU screwed us out of the postseason and it, it ruined our lineup. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And as always, leave a comment down below. I'll pick one of your comments for a future video. Again, all my social media is in the description if you guys want to follow Twitter and things like that. So with that being said, guys, on the screen now are going to be a video that YouTube recommends for you and the last video that was uploaded on the channel. Go and check them out if you've missed them before. Subscribe if you're new, like I've said, guys. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.